uh, introduce our guest for today, uh, Aina Cuello. Since breaking into the entertainment scene a few years ago, Aina, uh, a.k.a. Riza Rizzo, made her mark as one of the uh, one of Namibia's most recognizable public figures, a media, pre a media practitioner by profession. Aina is at her happiness or happiest um, and enjoying the happiness when she's in front of the camera as we've seen time and time and time again. But her popular weekly rap Instagram, um, the Instagram show that I'm sure you have subscribed to, if not, then don't play yourself. Um, it had really catapulted her into the greater fame as she brought Namibians up to date with pop culture um, and the news and in her signature speaking style, which has really earned, uh, earned her thousands and thousands of followers. Her work over the years uh, also rewarded her in 2020 when she scooped the Best TV Presenter of the Year Award at the Simply You Magazine Lifestyle and Fashion Awards. Now, if that's not an introduction, I don't know what Yay! is. <laughs> Aina in the building. That's a great intro. Yes. As you were reading or saying um, that intro, I was like, is that really me? Like, ah, <laughs> no, you are here. I did it. <laughs> you are here. The, great, the greatness was already there. You yeah. just had to arrive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Show up and show off. Exactly. That's my theme every time. Ne? Show yeah. up and show off. Yeah. You know, if you call me to something, I'm going to show up and I'm going to show off and I'm going to leave early. Mm. Yes. <laughs> True fashionista. Um, first things first, just I, I asked you how your morning was, um, yeah. but how's, how's the year at large? I know we're three months in yeah. um, or just getting into the third month, really. How, how has it been for you? You know, for me, um, initially, I'm born on the 28th of January, right? Okay. So I said, okay, on the 28th on that day, I'm going to start my year. And then something just happened and I was back into a dark space. Mm. So I decided, okay, it's the 1st of March. Let me start my year. So my year just started two days ago. Mm. But so far, so good. I'm ready to work. I am ready to collaborate. I'm mm. ready to meet new people. I'm excited. And and there's a, it seems like, you know, it was doom and gloom at the end of last year, you know, yeah. with all the uncertainty going around. And um, I think the the... The, what what's the saying when the tough gets going the the go the way when the going gets tough the tough get going is the saying the tough times are lasting but tough people well, last tough people last yeah and um the <laughs> tough people are really you know here ready mm. to work and like you said you are showing up and you're showing out yeah. um let's just take it back a notch mm. um just tell us about your history in presenting now, i've seen you time and time and time again um in that space yeah. but what led to the creation of weekly rap you know uh, i've been auditioning ever since i was maybe 16 mm. 14 and every time i'll just get rejected i don't know but i'm good i can present yeah. i can talk what's the problem i've auditioned in namibia people at nbc are tired of me every mm. time i go to audition <laughs> they're like uh -uh, it's this girl again please we are tired you know i've auditioned in south africa mm -hmm. i went to the mtv base uh, vj search mm. auditions and then i went to the bet auditions that was like in 2019 and that time no 2020 mm -hmm. and the beginning of last Last year, mm -hmm. when I went to the BTVJ Sage, I didn't get that job. So mm. I was like, uh-uh, you know what? I'm tired of auditioning. Let me start my own thing. Mm. Let me do it according to my own rules. Let me write my own script. Mm. And so then I did that. I came up with Weekly Rap. And I, I called up a couple of people. I didn't have money to produce the show. Mm -hmm. And I knew if I wanted to put out quality content, I needed money. Yeah. Um, so I called Nahenda. I said, girl, I have this idea. Idea. I, I don't have money to pay you, but I know you are like-minded, you are yeah. passionate, let's collaborate. Yeah. And she said to me, no, brah, I got you. Let me jump on as a director. Cool. And then I had met Silas uh, from Spectrum Media, I yeah. think, a year ago. Mm -hmm. So I said to him, my guy, I have this idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much to pay you, but I will pay you something. And Silas is so soft-spoken, but he loves... Yeah. Like, his, his energy is so low, but... 
when, when he's it working, comes, it's, yo, yeah. He's it's always late. like, yeah, let's do it. I'm, mm. I'm cool with the idea. But when it's time to work, you just see, like, you, yeah. the amazing, no, amazing work. No, Silas is talented. Yeah. It's insane. So, yeah, Silas agreed. Uh, at first, he was like, bruh, I don't really know what you want me to do. I've <laughs> never done TV. Don't know anything about it, but l let's go. Yeah. Just give me direction. What is it that you want me to do? And so then I told him, no, just I will stand in front of the camera. I just present. Mm. You just edit. Mm. And so then we took off. That was yeah. weekly rap. It has just been the three of us ever since. Mm. Mm. And you do it with, with a smile on your face like, every single time. And yeah. even when you're not presenting, you're smiling. I feel like that's just your <laughs> default. Most people have what they call the resting face. Yeah. You, do, you just have the smiling face. Um, um, sometimes. I've been told that the resting face. Maybe it's because I'm on 99. Because ne? I've always wanted to come here. And you are my favorite presenter. Maybe it's because I'm talking to you. So. I'll take that. I'll yeah. take that. I think we can even just cut the interview there. I'm the favorite presenter. Yes. Um, <laughs> now, presenting is really, is really like you said, you, you do it with love. You, it's your baby. You love everything about what you do. Yeah. But what do you love most about... Um, not just a weekly show, but just presenting about social media, about being on these platforms. Like, what is the most, the, the most lovable thing about the job for you? You know, I love the fact that I can connect with a, a wide audience, especially mm -hmm. because the show is on social media. Mm -hmm. um, I love the fact that you can be in a bad mood and you will come and watch Weekly Rap and then you start smiling. Mm. That is the essence for me of a presenter as a producer. You can't put out content that doesn't change people's lives. Mm. You can't put out content that doesn't make people happy. And for me, when I always read the comments and people are like, oh, brah, you made my day. I I'm like, mm. I've done my job. Mm. I'm happy. Even if it's just one person who says I've put them in a good mood. Mm. For me, that's purpose. Mm. So that's what I love about the show. I love the f I love pop culture. I mm. love celebrities. I die for celebrities. Mm. I breathe and eat everything mm. celebrity. <laughs> so when I have to talk about celebrities, oh, I'm my happiest. Yeah. I love the fact that the show is witty. Mm. It's a bit spicy. You know, you can't get angry. You mm. can't help but smile mm. with that show. So mm. I really love that about TV. And um, what would you say is something that you I don't want to say hate. Hate would be the the wrong word, but yeah. some, you know, even even the things we love, there are days where we wake up and we're like, ah. Yeah. So oh. what do you hate most about the job, for lack of a better phrase? Um, yo, you know, sometimes I don't feel like going to work. Sometimes I don't feel like presenting. Sometimes nah, Henda doesn't feel like coming. Mm -hmm. Silas doesn't feel like coming. But it, you have to stay consistent. Mm. It's just sometimes you're just low. Mm. You just don't have energy for anything. That's what I hate about it. The fact that I have to stay consistent because there are people who are um, looking up, looking forward to me making it out of bed so mm. that they can go out of bed. Mm. So if I don't come out of bed, somebody else won't come mm. out. If people don't see Weekly Rap mm. on Monday, mm. they are always in my DMs. Bro, where is the show? What's <laughs> happening? We've been waiting. You know people are counting on you yeah so i think it's that that type of responsibility that mm. really just sometimes i'm like oh what did i sign mm. up for but i love it yeah regardless i love it, it. It's, it's a good weight on the shoulders yeah um now the world is changing mm. and the world has changed so much in such a short time yeah. and at such short notice um but how do you think uh, weekly rap or how do you envision rather weekly rap changing in the near future and how has it been evolving as, especially with the dynamics the way that uh, the 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 entertainment dynamics have shifted a bit yeah. um in the past year you i think now everything is digital mm -hmm. you can make it just put out good content you can make it especially for aspiring tv presenter put your things online because everyone is always on their phones mm. it's easy for me to watch something on my phone than on the tv mm. uh, what i envision for weekly rap um initially i said i only wanted three seasons mm -hmm. now this month season two is coming up so next year i think that will be the end but uh, um i envision weekly rep to really put me on a bigger platform mm. like i want to get gigs from weekly rep of mm. which i've already got around about three gigs mm -hmm. like other tv shows that mm -hmm. were born out of weekly rep people saw my work mm -hmm. and they were like okay this girl can present let's put her on x and x mm. but i really just want um weekly rep to open 
endorsement doors, you know, mm. platforms such as BET. I think for me, when I created Weekly Rap, I wanted a beginning. I wanted a start. Mm. And that's what I hope it could give mm. me, like a big, big, huge start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would you say, I mean, you, like you said, uh, anyone can... You know, you can start with yeah. social media. Um, it doesn't. It's not like a TV production where you need uh, six months of preparation to get something going. Yeah. Um, when it's online, you can start today. If you have the talent, you can start at home. Mm. Uh, but what would you? What would be your main advice to an aspiring presenter and content creator? Um, if you are maybe trying to get into the digital space, mm -hmm. firstly, I would say um, research. Mm. What are you passionate about? Once you figure out what you're passionate about, I think you need to advance your skills. If you can present, make sure you go to a presenting school, um, radio school. There are a lot of people uh, in Namibia who give such classes. They are always mm. master classes. So make sure you enroll in that. I know I went to a TV presenting school in Joburg. Mm -hmm. And now, even this year, earlier, um, Josie Ipandwa had a, a training for radio, and I joined mm. that. It just advance your skill. Mm. And then once you're done with that, I think you need to figure out where you fit in in the world. Mm. Yeah, find out what is it that you can offer that Aina or script is not offering. Mm. Because you can't come offer us spice now if Aina is already offering mm. spice. There will be mm. too much spice. Mm. So you need to find something um, that, that makes you really stand out, mm. out of the crowd. Figure out the gap and fill that gap. Find mm. out what the other kids are not doing and insert yourself mm. in there. And then you're good to go. So as much as it's about you, it's about where you are as yes, well. Yes, so it's very about where you are, definitely. Yeah. And also just start with what you have. Mm. You know what I've learned? is that you don't need to wait for people. Yes, you do need people, but if you want to go to Angola today, you can't wait for Aina to go to Angola. If Aina says she's not going, mm -hmm. just go. When you get in Angola, you will find script yeah. who's like-minded, yeah. who will help you get to the next step. Yeah. Just do it. 100%. Just go. Mm. And where can we, for the people out there that have been living under rocks for <laughs> this long, where can, where can we get uh, our <laughs> weekly wrap? Weekly rap um, is on my IG TV. Mm -hmm. My IG handle is Aina underscore Riza underscore Queo. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on YouTube, but it's also coming to TV. Mm -hmm. But I can't really say much about that because hey, you must you know, follow me. That's how you know things are moving when yeah, you can't yeah, really yeah, say yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you must follow me to find out which TV station. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I have new projects coming up, man. It's not only weekly rap. It will be other shows that I... Oh, my... Mm. Yay! Mm. We, are we, we are there. We are within the content. We receive yeah. everything. <laughs> we are receiving, Aina. Um, and for that reason, I think, like, like I said in yeah. the beginning, um, it's it's literally game-changing. It's the game-changing mentality. Yeah. It's, it's, it's finding the like-minded individuals and saying, how can we change ourselves? Yeah. And by, you know, a byproduct of that will be changing the people around us and a byproduct of the people around you changing its communities, changing its shifting culture. Yes. And um, it's, it's really, uh, it's game changing stuff. Yes. And that's why you are our game changer of the day. Yay. Yay. I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And we can't wait to, you know, keep up with the weekly wrap and see all the things that you can't talk about quite yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. I'm excited. And that is our game changer of the day. Aina Raiza Cuello for you. If you don't know, now you know. Thank